Hi there, this is Dr. Embody. I'm one of the two instructors for CSC 231, the other one's Ali Raza. And this is a little video just to get you started. Uh, you know, first question is, why are we here? And the point of programming really is to help people. And uh, there's, we, we show a little video where, uh, where somebody's built an exoskeleton to help uh, somebody who's been wheelchair bound to now walk and obviously there's a lot of like mechanical engineering in that but this thing wouldn't run without computers and so in some sense the the notion of programming is about helping people to do things and this course really is about problem solving and and one of the most confusing things for people about the course is that oh it's about programming uh, not really. It's about problem solving, and we're, we're problem solving in the context of, of programming. And it's actually the problem solving part that's the hardest part of this course. And, and that's very easy to, to, uh, to forget. Uh, what's the purpose of this course? Our idea is that when presented with a problem, you might look at that and say, Oh, I can, I can write a program to solve that problem. And so, so this course is about solving problems. And in fact, once we get some of the basics out of the way, you'll see that many of the, the programming projects that we do involve uh, just taking some real data that we grab, you know, say from the government or something, reading it into Python, doing some analysis, and then, you know, maybe graphing the output. So read some, find some real data, read it in, do some analysis, and then produce some, uh, some results. Uh, this course is, it was developed by Dr. Punch and myself, uh, and we wrote the textbook. The model is to have uh, the text supplemented by the video. Notice that the videos are a supplement. They don't stand alone. The idea is that you will read a chapter in the text and the videos will uh, explain kind of how to do things with that information that you had. So unlike many courses, the text is fundamental to this course. If you try to do the course without the text, you will find it extra challenging and believe me, you don't need more, uh, more challenges in, in doing this course. So let's take a look at, at, at a couple of things here. Every week there's, there's a pattern that, that you're going to have. You're going to do a reading, like read a chapter. You're going to watch some videos. There, there are exercises online to be done for each chapter. There is a required lab. And there will be a weekly programming project. There are also uh, two midterms and a final. And the details are in the syllabus. Don't forget to read the syllabus. You're, you, know, you will be held to whatever is in, uh, in the syllabus. Uh, while we do have, have a presence on D2L, almost everything in the course is on this web page. And here's what the web page looks like. Okay. Uh, and uh, whoops, ha, I need to uh, update that to, I, I've started to get uh, all the pieces in place here, but uh, I, I need to update this part. We have uh, three components to grading. We have programming projects, which make up 45% of the course. Those are weekly. We have the exams. I mentioned those up here. And then we have the chapter exercises. That would be those. Okay, and uh, the labs are kind of, of weird. These are the labs that I talked about up there. They don't count towards your grade, but if you miss three, we're going to take your final grade and, and reduce it by 0.5. Uh, so that means if you were going to get a, a 3.5 and you miss uh, three uh, labs, then you now have a 3.0. You miss four labs, you're now down to a 2.5, and so on. Details are in the syllabus. Uh, the new thing we added last semester is that we have this thing called Mirror Mirror, which is online. Uh, you're going to hand your projects in online with there, and you're going to do your chapter exercises there. One nice thing about this is that 
Uh, every time you hand in your program or your project, it will run some tests on it, so you'll get immediate feedback, and that's turned out to be very valuable for students. There's normally a $25 charge. Don't pay it. Uh, it's going to be free this semester. We're still working out the details, uh, but uh, uh, we won't be able to reimburse you if you, uh, uh, if, if you pay. There's a two-week, uh, you, know, you can do it, use it for free for two weeks, um, but uh, we, we're getting this set up so that it will be entirely free. Uh, the exams, uh, they're, they're free on campus, or if you want to do them remotely, $15 uh, per exam. And, and they, you know, we'll deal with that later when we get closer to an exam. Uh, in terms of support to help you out, you will have a TA. There, of course, are the two instructors. There's Piazza, and uh, there's the help rope. And I'll show you a link to the uh, uh, help room. Collaboration is not allowed on programming projects. You'll get a zero. Uh, and you'll get a zero on the project, or depending upon the severity of it, you may get a zero for the course. Uh, where do you start? Download Anaconda. We want you to do this by Monday. That is the first day of classes. Uh, you know, this, this course involves programming. Uh, you want to get that. Notice that it's, pro, pro, uh, it's Python 3, not Python 2. Uh, you, you just got to watch out for that. So there's a, a weekly rhythm to this cat, to this class. You read a chapter, you watch a video, you do some chapter exercises, there's a lab to be done, and there's a project to be done. Uh, the pro tips for doing well, read the text. Uh, you know, that, that, that will hurt you if you, you uh, uh, don't do that. And start your programming projects early. Okay. Th those, are, uh, those are critical. Uh, let, let's take a look at a, at a couple of things here. As I mentioned before, uh, we have this uh, uh, web page, www.cse.msu.edu till the CSE 231. Everything you need is there. Notice that there's a, a, a site called Start Here, and that gives you just some things that I talked about, uh, and it also tells you some things like read the syllabus, and it even has a link to the syllabus there. Uh, and uh, there's a due dates page, and the due dates tell you what you have to do every week. Uh, you'll, that, you'll become very familiar with that. Uh, and, and, a, and a number of other, other things on there. So, uh, so that's the start here, good place to start. There's a link to the syllabus. Uh, and the online content has things like the due dates page, which I already pointed out to you. I'll show it to you again. Uh, Piazza, which I'm setting up this afternoon. There's a coding standard that's important for uh, when you uh, our, our writing code. There are certain standards that we expect you to adhere to. There is a help room. There's a schedule there. Uh, we hope to start those on first day of classes. Uh, th there is a link to the lab sessions. There is a, uh, a website for the course. Uh, there's help finding what's wrong with your code. Old exams is really handy to prepare for exams. There's some frequently asked questions. There's a link to the uh, uh, honors option. There's nothing there right now, uh, and uh, you know because uh, for honors students, we you know we've got to get a few weeks into this before uh, but before you can do anything. And PythonTutor.com uh, is just a, a, a handy uh, reference point, and and this page is kind of nice because uh, it it gives you uh, this video, the welcome video. Uh, and then there's the one about exoskeleton, which is kind of fun. If you haven't done it, uh, the Hour of Code kind of gives you a gentle introduction to programming. Uh, week zero, that's what you have to do Monday, okay? which is Lab Zero, which is really about just downloading Python. Okay? Uh, and then you know, the real work of the first week is uh, week one. Uh, there's you're supposed to read chapter one and if you ha if you don't have the book yet guess what uh, we have a draft of chapter zero and one online 
So, uh, so, so, like if you're ordering it, on, ordering the book online, your book hasn't shown up yet. That you can at least read chapters zero and and one. Uh, and you know, we expect you've got Python installed, and away we go. Included in there are things like the lab, and every time for a lab, you also need to do the pre-lab. Uh, you don't get credit for the lab uh, unless you've done the pre-lab, and not surprisingly, the pre-lab has to be done before the lab. Uh, and there is already a project up there for you that's, that's on the due dates page. Uh, one other thing I can show you when you install Python, this is what it looks like. There are, are three windows, the place where you write your code over on the left, and a place where you see the output uh, and, and you type in the input on the lower right. I'll deal with the upper right window later on. Your first thing to do uh, for lab zero is, is to do the classic hello world. And you can then uh, click and uh, save and you have to give it a name you'll you'll keep it wherever you want to keep it uh, and then when I when I run this there's the little arrow there to run it you see down in the lower right there's the hello world and when by the way when you submit this uh, 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 onto uh, mirror mirror don't uh, remember the comma Remember this, the space and, oops, that was weird. Um, and remember the exclamation point, because what'll happen is that when you hand it in the mirror mirror, it will test to see whether you have code that actually uh, prints hello world uh, and, uh, and that check will be done on it. So what lab zero, what we want you to do Monday is download Python onto your computer and actually write this one line program. Okay, uh, and, and we, we do that immediately because out of 700 students, there'll be one or two students who have a problem. And, and we want to find those one or two students right away so that we can get them helped and uh, uh, get started. So the, this, uh, this course is a grand adventure. Uh, it's, we're going to be learning how to solve problems. And our job is to help you get through that. So, welcome to 231. Good luck with it.